What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. My apologies for not uploading over the past couple of days. If you didn't know, I was actually tested positive for COVID-19 these past two weeks. The worst part is over now, but I still don't have my taste or smell back. And the thing also with COVID too is it really does drain you physically. Um, plus I've had to deal with some legal issues, but a lot of that has been taken care of for the time being now. And yeah, don't worry, I'm not gonna be going anywhere anytime soon. But today we actually have a bunch of Black Ops Cold War information to discuss and talk about along with some free content within Warzone and Modern Warfare. So let's check it all out. Now, if you guys didn't know, today was the last day for the Pawn Takes Pawn viral marketing campaign for Black Ops Cold War. And the final website is gonna be pawntakespawn.com slash draw. And if you go onto that website, type in the code one pieces nine and eight play one, you can get a bunch of in-game content for Warzone Modern Warfare and also Call of Duty Mobile. And I'm gonna have all the rewards up on screen for you guys right now. For Black Ops Cold War, you can get this nuclear family portrait calling card and a knight chess piece weapon charm. But for Warzone and Modern Warfare, you can get a weapon blueprint, a vehicle skin, a five calling cards, five emblems, and then a five spray. So again, if you go onto this website, which is gonna be linked down below, enter that code in and you can get some free in-game items. Super duper easy, literally takes about five seconds to do so. Highly recommend you guys going onto that website to get some free content. Now in regards to Warzone content, today was quarter three of Activision Blizzard's conference call. Basically this is meant for Activision to give updates to media personnel, investors, etc. Um, just to update them on you know the future plans, share some good news, stuff like that. Anyways, but Activision Blizzard COO announced that Black Ops Cold War's first season is gonna be arriving within December. And also this is gonna be the month when Black Ops Cold War is gonna be finally integrated into Warzone. So on release date, November 13th, Warzone is not gonna have that Black Ops Cold War touch and feel. Again, we're not gonna see any of the new map locations, weapons, perks, etc. until sometime in December. And they have not yet announced when that day is gonna be coming, but for sure it's gonna be taking place sometime in a December. And if that's the case, I definitely think there's gonna be a chance where the Warzone map could be decked out with some Christmas related decorations. Uh, maybe the map could also have like a winter snow theme. Something like the Haunting of Verdansk mini mid-season event is what we could see come season one for Black Ops Cold War. Another piece of information that's kind of been making its rounds over social media is a leaked HD video footage of the entire score streak list for Black Ops Cold War. I'm not going to post the original footage in this video to avoid copyright reasons, but if I can find a link, I'll have it down below in the description for you guys. I also do not want to discuss too much details about it because again, it's a leak. It's not supposed to be made public yet. And a new thing that Activision and the developing studios are doing this year when they hold a capture events, QA testing, that kind of stuff, is they're giving players a personal QR code so when leaks like this surface on, on social media, then they will know exactly who was the one that was playing the game at the time the leak went out. So I just wanted to clarify that in case you guys are wondering what that icon was on the side of the screen. I saw a lot of people talking about this one and the first ever footage of multiplayer was leaked out for Black Ops Code War, but yeah, that's what the QR code is gonna be used for. Anyways, there's a total of 21 streaks that were in this build of Black Ops Cold War. I'm not sure what version this was at the time of recording, but I would say it's definitely some time recent. Like, I I'm pretty sure the game is about to go gold, meaning it's about to be finalized and ready to be released and shipped out to stores to be sold off. But some of the streaks have placeholder icons and names. And again, you can go check out the link down below if you guys wanna see a better image of that. You may also notice one of the streaks is called the Harp, and apparently this is gonna be the SR-71 or Blackbird type streak within Black Ops Cold War, which has a lot of pub stompers, super duper excited about this, and me personally too. But so guys, keep in mind, some of this may change, such as the total amount of score required to earn these streaks. I just wanted to clarify that, let you guys know this may not be the final thing we see upon release for Black Ops Cold War. Kind of bummed out that we don't have a dog type streak, but maybe later on they could add doggos or maybe we could see them return in the form of a DLC related streak, who knows. Um, Activision Blizzard did state though that microtransaction sales this year were four times higher than last year's at quarter three, which is pretty damn huge. And also Warzone is gonna be used as a primary marketing tool for future Call of Duty games, which I freaking 
Lightning, love to hear that. Warzone is going to be sticking around for a very long time, guys. And yeah, the Call of Duty Battle Royale is just insanely successful. A lot of what Modern Warfare has done really turned Call of Duty around from being this greedy, money-hungry business to a player-first and fairness-type model. And yes, it's working out very well for the company and also the player base. So guys, please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just a few weeks away from the launch of Black Ops Cold War. Expect some information about the level progression system to come out sometime before launch. The president of Activision did state that the core progression is going to work something similar to Modern Warfare, meaning we're going to have level 1 through 55, but he did not comment on what's going to happen after we hit level 55. So. Um, there's still an award on a prestige system or what's going to exactly be happening after we hit level 55 again. But yeah, guys, again, tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. Also, feel free to come hang out with me in my Discord server, Twitch stream, and over on Twitter. Links can be found down below. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.